good morning everyone and welcome back to craft eccentricity i'm up this morning with a personal haul i have made um a couple of projects and i've done some stamping of the stamps that i got but the first thing i got and it's dirty already because i've used it is a stencil and it's eight inches square so that's the first thing i got and i did use that in a couple of my projects and I got myself a bag of bits. <laughs> this is an artist doll. And when it's made up, it's six and a half inches. It's absolutely awesome. And I love it. I got myself a teeny weeny set of flowers again. I've got lots and lots of tiny little flowers. I just love them. They're just so useful for putting everywhere. So I got myself those. I got myself a large die all in bits because I've used it and that makes a seed packet and it's got various planner parts and little dies and things that come with it. So I got that. Talking about artist dolls, I got myself a stamp which has an art doll on it which is absolutely gorgeous and I will measure it. Just grab my ruler. The art doll on there is just under six and a half inches. It's holding a paintbrush and you've got lots of squiggles and wiggles and stuff on there. You've got my atelier and you've got inspiration and just lots of lovely things. So I've got myself that stamp set and then i got myself more stamps. It's lots of stamps today and I've got trust you crazy i've used quite a few of the stamps out of this set which is why <laughs> it's looking um all wiggled around and the backer for that is seven and three quarter inches i've said before you know and by six inches that once you know the size the size that they give you on aliexpress is the plastic mounting sheet and once you know that you can you know roughly guesstimate the size of stamps like that one is one and a quarter by one and three quarters that's trust your crazy ideas and you've got celebrate and love and all kinds of stuff so these are very sort of like mixed media um planner oriented and then i've got myself this one which i love it's a license plate stamp and then there on the second row if i put my hand under it you've got the ends of the license plate so you can stamp everything you want and then you can put ends on it but of course because they're sort of like perfectly straight rectangles my camera's a bit blurred you can just cut those out with your scissors once you've stamped them and uh, do whatever and then i've got myself a firework stamp and i haven't actually stamped that one so i'll probably come back next week and stamp that and that's one of those that you can put on your stamp platform and just dab little bits of different coloured ink on and stamp it and keep doing it until you build up that, you know, sort of like great look of the firework. But I really love that one. Great for New Year and 4th of July. And then I got myself another art stamp and I haven't used this one either. So I'm going to have to come back with that one. And that's all sort of like paintbrushes, paint tubes, you've got artists, all sorts of stuff. Because I'm going to build myself a planner stand. And um, I'll discuss that in a minute. I'm just going to turn around a minute. Right, I just <laughs> needed to grab more stamps that I'd left behind me. Right. Now, this one was a free sample from the seller, which was really kind. And it's a kind of female Icarus. So she could be flying off to the sun, which is quite appropriate, really, because one of my stamps is a sun stamp. And look at the size of that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It stamps absolutely perfectly. I'll put it down because you'll probably see it better. And if I get a sheet of cardstock, if that helps. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better. So that's the sun, and I'll measure that. That is almost three and a half inches. I'd say that it was three and a half inches. But I have stamped with that one and it's lovely. 
and I've got a girly stamp put it on there again isn't she sweet and she's a gorgeous size for colouring in you know you can you can see all the details and that's three and a half inches by three inches so she's great and then I had to get this one and I've used it <laughs> it's a little mermaid in a glass of lemonade with ice cubes she's got a straw she's got a little love heart stirrer and that says cool and then you've got that looks like a little tiny fish on the glass if I flip it over no I can't but it says cool back to front but I promise you it's not back to front but I just think it's wonderful. So those are my stamps. And let me measure this one. Five inches. I mean, great on a birthday card or on a planner page. And I'm going to say three and a half inches. So another wonderful size. And so here are my projects. So if I flatten these out a bit, I'll be able to rest my stuff down. Right, first up, the artist doll. And I absolutely love this. This is the stands, which, of course, you know, you get with art mannequins. And then this is the doll. And it's not going to all fit in there. But I used um, my stencil on a large sheet of cardstock. And I just cut the other little bits out of this with the scraps that I had left over. So this is from that stencil I've just shown you. And I just stenciled through with oxide ink, but you can manipulate it. These little brads on here are from a craft friend called Julie. Let's see how close we can get. Ooh, it's not playing very well today, my camera. And I just thought loads of flowers on there would look absolutely awesome. But it does emboss the details. And if I block some light out. No, maybe that doesn't help. Ooh, let's get in. Isn't it weird, my camera? Sometimes you just have to go microscopic and then move away really, really slowly and hope it doesn't go blurred. But your art dummy goes on the stand and then if I move that down a bit, you can see, but you could pop the body onto foam pads on a planner page, which means it would be raised up slightly and you could still articulate it and, and move it around because it does, you know, you can move all of the parts just like a little art doll. So you can make it do whatever you want it to. I just absolutely love it. I mean, one of the things I'm going to be doing with this is my favourite artists and um, when I get a new printer, yeah, I'm saving up for a new printer. I want one of those that has one of those huge gallon tanks of ink so I never run out. And my husband says to me, you don't really need to print out the whole internet, you know. And I said, oh, well, actually, yeah, I do. So I'm saving up for a good printer. But when I do, I'm going to scale images of famous artists and print them onto the heads and then I can have you know sort of like a row of art type paper dolls with all the famous artists faces on the top there and just do mixed media below and I think that would just look awesome just hanging in um, a plain black frame because believe it or not my, my house is minimalist can you believe that yeah, I don't believe that either, because if you saw my craft room, you would say absolutely no way. But the house is minimalist. My craft room is, I don't know, it's just a law unto itself. You know, things come here to hide. That's all I can say, including me, because I love my craft room. But I am trying to organise it. But um, yeah, that's the art doll. Six and a half inches. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, next up, and here's where I really use the stencil, and it's for this seed packet. And that's the die that I've just shown you, and it cuts a window, and I've put some acetate. I've used one of the dies there, which is a leaf, and I've put seeds there. But this is just using um, a black fine liner and um, distress oxides through the stencil, and then some of those stamps that I just showed you that I used. So you can have a little look at that. 
but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it comes with tabs so that you can, you know, glue the tab on and you can just fit it straight into your planner. So that's my other project. And then next up was stamping. And I did, I think, stamp the free sample there. That was the free sample that was sent to me. And it stamps absolutely perfectly. So I'm really grateful for that. And then the other one is the little girl. And I just sort of like was messing around really late at night with my markers. But I just think she's so sweet. So that is that one. And then I stamped the sun, which I think is absolutely gorgeous, and just did it like that. But you could fussy cut that out and uh, glitter it up, sparkle it up. You could do whatever you wanted to with that. It's a great size. Also a great size for stamping on the side of a plant pot if you've got some stays on ink. And then the little mermaid. There she is, sunbathing, bless her in the top of a glass of lemonade. Absolutely love that. And as you can see, the cool is the correct way around. It's just the printing on the stamp package. But I just really enjoyed doing that. And there, that tiny little fish hanging on right beside her. Just love it. Right, that is what I got for you today. And um, I'm trying to think. I think I'm up with another haul tomorrow, probably a personal haul again. Because, you know, the last sale that was on, I bought loads of goodies and they're coming through. And there's another sale on now. And I've been buying lots more goodies. So eventually I'll be able to afford my printer. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for watching. Have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.